How's it going, Blazers? We're going to bring you specifications you can relate to. You can have educated decision on your purchases. This is one from Artists and Colors, so thank you very much to them for providing this for the pass around group. Uh, this one is from Dirk Pinkerton. Uh, normally, it's quite a bit bigger knives. Uh, this one's going to be a pretty decent size, at least for what I consider to be a decent size knife. My range is probably about 3.25 inches for a blade length. Uh, so this is going to be uh, what we have here. So that's what it's going to look like in your pocket if you cho do choose to pick this one up. This one's the Arroyo, uh, so that's going to be uh, their knife here. Uh, this one is going to be in a micarta scale. Uh, it's kind of a newer uh, setup for them. Uh, so that's going to be a very, uh, fairly, um, I guess, rough or texturized. I wouldn't say it's too rough, so it's not like sandpaper or anything else, but it's definitely noticeable for all these grains on here uh, when you're actually rubbing your hand across it. Uh, it does have some grip to it. It's not polished. Uh, so that's one thing that I do like about my cartas in more of a natural state because uh, I don't really like the polish side because polish, like you're kind of taken away from that grip that it adds for my carta. Uh, so it's going to be, uh, this one is going to be a right hand, left hand carry. Uh, so you basically can flip that and clip around to the other side. I did notice that this was a little bit sharp when I first got it um, from them. Uh, just from carrying it and then kind of grabbing it and taking it out of pocket, uh, this little edge right here uh, did wear down a little bit because that was kind of a, a little sharper point uh, when uh, touching it and taking it out of pocket. Uh, so that's one thing about that one. Uh, so this is what the, bl the blade looks like. Uh, sorry I didn't clean it up, uh, but that is going to be what that looks like there. Uh, so this one has uh, basically a weight of 3.3 ounces. Uh, so for a very tactile area for that. So that's going to be here. Uh, that's going to be... Uh, basically uh, 16 quarters and one penny uh, to be able to get that iPhone uh, 12 is 5.73 ounces so that is my standard for it if it's over basically a newest iPhone then maybe that's considered a heavier one uh, but if people are willing to carry the newest iPhone really this isn't going to be uh, very noticeable when you go side to side against another knife in a store or whatnot then yeah those ounces are going to come into something that you're going to notice but otherwise I don't feel that it does uh, this one, the price point wise, about sixty-five point sixty-five dollars and eighty-seven cents. Uh, MSRP about eighty-seven eighty-two uh, for this one here. Uh, basically for the pull, uh, my I do use a, a Lyman pull gauge. I actually pull down on it to actually see what it deploys at. This one took uh, three pounds six point seven ounces to actually deploy. That's a little bit higher. I like a two to three pound range, so it's a little bit higher than what I'd like for that. Uh, but that is what it uh, deployed at. So it's not anything that's painful or anything for it. Uh, it's not super smooth for these areas, so you do notice that flipper tab uh, when you are uh, touching and deploying it, uh, but it's nothing that's going to be uh, too much of an issue uh, there. Uh, so this is going to be also going to be a cutting edge. It's going to be longer than the actual blade length uh, because of this upswept blade tip. Uh, You're going to get a, a 3.52 inch uh, cutting length on this, and then that's going to be against a actual blade length of through about 3.3 inches. Uh, and so the actual uh, primary grind on it uh, so is about 6 degrees. Uh, so that's going to be uh, what you get here, uh, 6 degrees. Uh, a kitchen knife uh, normally is probably about 2 degrees. Uh, so it should cut pretty well uh, going through some thicker materials uh, for that. Uh, it is kind of a variable on the secondary bevel. So that's going to be the actual sharpened edge. Um, that one actually did... Uh, come in at about 15 and 18 degrees So let's see if we can have you guys see this So yep. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that or not So we're going to have about there. So one side is going to be about On that farther end. I'll move it a little bit so you can kind of make a judgment on it but about uh, one side is about 18 degrees one side is at 15 degrees and then that uh, primary bevel is at six degrees for, for that one. So it works pretty well uh, for that. Uh, so uh, basically initial sharpening, you'll be able to adjust for those little degrees here and there, but it's not perfect on right and left hand side. Uh, this one runs uh, the newest uh, powdered metallurgy steel from them, the AP um, RPM9, uh, which I believe is gonna be about a 440, uh, but it's gonna be a powdered uh, steel for that. And then the actual handle length on this one is going to be about 4.16 uh, inches. Uh, so that's going to be oh, what we have there. That's going to be the handle all the way from here, all the way to the front there. And then when I do the blade length, I take it from basically this point here, all the way to the tip of the knife. 
uh, for this one. So about six sheets of paper uh, behind the edge. So that's going to be you know, basically out here. Um, the six sheets of paper about twenty thousandths. Uh, degree of ramp is about twenty degrees. Uh, so that is from when it actually disengages to when that detent ball is actually on to uh, the blade. So about twenty degrees. I find about twenty degrees is uh, really good. Uh, 30 degrees is okay, 40 degrees and above is kind of excessive, uh, but it does actually get onto the blade before it actually makes contact with my finger, which is really the more important part about that. Uh, for this one, the blade stock thickness is about 2.6 millimeters, and yes, I go back and forth between inches and millimeters uh, because some of it makes more sense to me, um, and otherwise just do a conversion on it. Uh, right and left hand carry, again, I was saying on uh, when we first started off, uh, but basically right now it's set up for right hand carry. Flip to the other, other side, left hand carry, uh, seam is going to be, uh, the blade is always going to be on the seam of your pants. Most times some people don't do it that way, but I feel that's the safest way to do that. And then this one is going to be uh, one that has, it does have a lanyard uh, barrel spacer, which is kind of an interesting thing. Let's try and get a little Q-tip here. So that's going to be right here. So this actually rotates. So that's actually going to be the barrel spacer um, right in there. So it does have a barrel uh, lanyard uh, location if you want to use it. I don't use lanyard, so um, I'm not too sure what uh, will fit in there exactly. And um, personally, I don't find the use. Uh, but there are some purposes for it, but I just don't like it. Uh, aesthetically uh, there, um, maybe for something small, like a minimalist, very necessary for that. Uh, but uh, overall, not too needed in my opinion. So definitely good design side. Uh, I would recommend to buy for it. Uh, this is one that I would pick up because it's not really something that I like for the style. Uh, but this is something that actually works uh, pretty well uh, for this blade. So it still cuts pretty well for it. Uh, but it's just not something that I would probably pick up for myself. But again, that's why I give you all the specifications so you guys can go through it and actually decide for yourself if there's something that you want to pick up. I even the um, the a play on it as far as the pivot is uh, pretty good. You feel just a slight movement on there, but nothing that's excessive, nothing that's rattling uh, for it. And then also locks up pretty well as well. So new movement, left or right, no not blade rock or anything there. But this is provided by the manufacturer, so that should be a very good as far as a quality control, but they are pretty good otherwise for many other knives that I've had. Uh, so that's where uh, we have for that one. Uh, sharp. Uh, but yeah, overall, very good. Uh, very good in hand. Uh, good setup. So if you like the design, if you're looking for some micarta, and that's going to be a good way to go. But we're going to compare it to some of the other knives out there. So pair of three. That's going to be what that looks like right there. We're going to have a Rat 2. Also going to have a one right there for the bug out. And then, of course, you're going to have the Slars, which should be out soon. I'm waiting on that to come in so we can get distributed to the backers and then uh, open to regular sales after that. But that's about all I have to say about that one today.